Okay, so I apologize in advance for how um, seasick I'm going to make some of you guys. But, okay, so this right here, that is the 48 volt power supply. This cute little guy down here is the 5 volt power supply. This is the breakout board here. This is a terminal strip that I set up so that I can distribute all the 110 power. This cord here goes to the wall. Pay no attention to the tape, it's just to keep me from zapping myself. You can see the parallel port here. This is the driver here. And we got the little stepper right here. Um, and then I'm going to swing over here. And you got the parallel cord running to this piece of crap machine. Hang on a second. That little machine there. Pay no attention to my really crummy uh, server rack system. I'll pay no attention to that. Um, you can see I have Mach 3 on my little monitor back here. And uh, it's running nothing really special. I just configured the ports and pins so that I could test. Um, so here I'm going to pull the power cord so I can turn around here. Hold on one second. I apologize. There we go. Now. I'm going to switch the power on. You can see Mach 3 there. Let's get the power switched on here. Hold on one second. Alright, so I've got my little switch here. We'll turn it all on. It's going to make a noise. The stepper just made a little bit of a noise. I don't know if anybody heard that, but the stepper just bumped into life. Now, I'm going to hit my left arrow key, and you can watch really closely. The machine moving. We have motion. Is that cool or what? Anyway, that is the first bit of movement. So the cool thing is this breakout board shows you every axis and its status. So watch if I push my up arrow key, it's going to switch on one of the other axes. That's the direction. And if you can see really faintly, probably not. Let's see if I can shut that one off, shut that one off. Now, see there? See that little tiny right there? That is the pulse, and right now it's set pretty slowly, so it's fairly dim. That other one that comes on bright is the direction. So when it's on, it goes one direction. When it's off, it goes another. And when there's a pulse present, that's the signal you get. See how the pulse goes down? My acceleration and stuff, I haven't touched any of that. That's all default Mach 3. So that's going to be the next bit of steps. But I figured I'd share with everybody my hodgepodge of wiring results in some movement. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool.